Headshot 10.2 Setup Dialog Launch Headshot from the menu Select Face and Lips from the Surface selection and select Head from the Geometry selection. Accept. Here is a Teach panel. It will tell you step-by-step -step instructions to execute. Now this is the Setup panel. First you browse for a front picture. Now uh, you have to name the project and select the project folder where all files will be saved. If Genesis 2, select the gender such as male, female or child. If not, select custom OBJ. As you can see, eyes and mouth are auto-located. Adjust if needed. Also adjust the top of the head and the chin lines. Finally, there are six head shaped dots. They could be adjusted as well. When you're ready, apply and your nerve works. Head Shop 10.2 Auto Dots. Click on the Auto Dots button. Each panel will explain the steps. There are group dots, blue dots, and single dots, green dots. Try to select the group dot for the mod to position. Do the same for the nose. There's also head shape group dot, which creates a box. You can move the corner of the box to fit the head shape. Unclicking the Auto Dot button transfer shape and texture. You can adjust the two dots that describe the nostril shape. Do the same on the left side. Green dots could be moved individually to better fit the shapes. Here we are moving the blue dots for the eye to better position the eye. You can rotate around the head for a better look. Here we are doing some final adjustments, single dots, to better describe the chin shape. Headshop 10.2 Profile Tool If you have a profile picture, you can click on the Profile Tool. Click on the new picked arrow and browse for the profile picture. Once you found it, there are two blue dots. Move them to the eye and mouth as instructed. You can fine-tune your movement here and then pressing the space bar you transfer the profile image to the work area. It's a good idea to zoom in for better tracing. Start tracing at the top of the head and moving gradually down all the way down to the, under the chin area.
Once you finished, press Enter. You can move the slider to increase or decrease the profile effect. Headshot 10.2 Line Tool In case of an intricate feature like a mouth, we can also use the Line Tool. Click on the Line Tool and then click on either the mouth, nose or head shape dot. It's a good idea to zoom in for easier tracing. Notice that on the right it is, there is a guide shows in red line what you need to trace. So start tracing from the right corner clockwise. When you finish back in a starting point, notice that the middle line is now red and you can trace the middle line also starting from the left. When finished, unclick the line tool. Now it may look funny, but no worries, you can correct it very easily. Simply click on the auto dot and slightly move or wiggle the mod group. And there it is, it looks perfect. Headshot 10.2 Features Features tab is located after the front tab and operation is fairly self-explanatory. If you move the age slider to the right, you add age. With the weight slider, you can add weight or take away weight and make, it, make the model skinnier. Headshop 10.2 Style tab. If you desire to add hair to a model, open the Style tab and open the Hair library. Select and drag a hairstyle to the right. You can change the length of the hair by selecting it and then moving uh, the length slider up and down. Once you have the desired length, you can adjust it and make sure it fits. You can also add hair color by going to the color tab and just selecting one of the hair color styles. Notice that the hair is a little loose and needs to adjust the size. So open the parts library and then Highlighting the hair, you can adjust the size, smaller or larger, reposition it slightly so that it, it is a perfect fit. Headshop 10.2 Export to Death Studio When we are satisfied with the model, we can use the export button to transfer it to their studio. And here it is. We can still adjust the percentage of the morph that we 
transfer via the morph slider and then import also the hair that we added in headshop hundred percent and there it is the finished uh, product headshop 10.2 3d printing if your goal is to create a 3d statue you can add 3d print ready here from style tab and also a neck and pedestal from the accessory tab from the color tab you can add hair color and texture and you're ready to move to the file tab which is the stage tab in the stage tab you can add a simulated fireplace mantle to see the size of your statue you can also add final adjustments to the morph reduce it or increase it and also change the size of the output for a final review you can use the navigate rotate tool for black and white output select 3D print and for color output select color 3D print. For color 3D print you need to create a new folder where all of the pieces will be saved. Once you click color 3D print the program will save all files and launch shapepay.com. Here at shapepay.com use the upload button to upload your zip file. Here is the zip file. And you can upload it. Select inches and wait for the preview. Now it's important that you scale your statue according to your budget. A 3 inch color sandstone statue will be roughly $70-$75. You may, in a smaller sizes, you may get a warning about wall thickness. You can ignore this. and here check the print it anyway button before ordering <laughs>